Monet is dead because of you. You kill me, your life is over. Carter has something on you. Then you need to get something on him. Boom is coming for us, you know that, right? Davis, we're fucked. Every time y'all do some shit and leave me out, it gets fucked up. We decide what happens next. Get the fuck away from me! Fuck it! What are you thinking, Dee? How you gonna get out of this one, brother? What up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Modi J, and we're locked in. Well, this is the last thoughts for Power Book 2, Season 4, Episode 10, the finale. There's really no breaking it down, to be honest with you. We're just going to go over some characters and just have a conversation because whatever happens, happens. There's nothing else. But before we jump into this and we give our last thoughts and predictions, if you like power content, break down theories and predictions like this, well, hit your subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Make sure you hit that like button. And man, let me tell you, four years went by so fast. Where did it go? Now, will Tariq get his inheritance? That's the big question, but everyone wants to know what is gonna to happen to all of the characters. So I guess that's what we're gonna do. A little 10, 15 second prediction on what's gonna to happen to each character at the end of this finale. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Well, if we're gonna be honest, we're gonna start with Don Carter because is he gonna make it? Is he the most dirtiest cop we've ever seen in the Power Universe? The first answer is no. The second answer is probably so, Mo. Don Carter is tied up by Tariq. Now, I had a prediction that they're gonna call up Nico, and Nico is gonna be the one that potentially come and does this, but then we got a photo of Effie talking about he deserved it, where she's in the warehouse. So maybe Effie is the one that does it, because maybe Don Carter is doing too much talking, which could lead us to Don Carter and Effie having some type of relationship and Effie had an unalive Don Carter, so no one would know. And when I say a relationship, not them together, like a family relationship, we've all been wondering who is who. So we'll see about that. But as far as Don Carter goes, Tariq, he has a lot of dirt on Tariq with the Zion. He also has Monet and them up under his control. But with this war jumping off with Noma, I think Monet's gonna be preoccupied, so it's gonna have to be Tariq, Braden, Effie, or Nico that take out Don Carter. And well, I guess we're gonna have to see, but Don Carter, in my opinion, isn't gonna make it. Now, if you've been to my channel for a while, you know my imagination can run very, very wild. This is the photo I was mentioning that Effie dropped on her Instagram page, Alex, where she was saying he deserved it. But the photo I just showed about Don Carter shows he's released and he's no longer kidnapped. So they probably released him but we also know that there's a photo in the trailer of Effie looking at a computer. Now, I'm assuming she went on that computer to get that Zion footage so he can't hold it over Tariq in them head. Now, there's still the incident with Celine we haven't heard anything about, and it's also Felicia, but that didn't have anything to do with Effie. Now, Effie, is she going to get away? I know I was over on Power is Fires Live on Instagram, and we said no one gets away clean or no one has a fairy tale ending. But I believe Effie is going to actually escape out of this. We've seen her mom. It was very, very brief, but we did see her mom. And now we know why she's so cold hearted. So I could see Effie going to get that footage. And that'll probably be like her last mission before she heads out of here and goes to California. And this is from the trailer where we see Effie on a computer. Now, this looks like Don Carter's house. If you remember, he was talking to his wife that day. This looks like his setup. And this looks like a government computer because there's no insignia on it. So Effie, one last mission. We let Don Carter go, but we need you to hack this computer and get this footage of me and Brayden. Now, Effie could use this footage and set Tariq and Brayden up because we know she's known for setting people up before she skedaddles. So that way no one can trace her. But we'll see how Effie goes because she still has love for Tariq. It looks like Noma is going to be on the run for this last episode after the shootout. She has to know that the Tejadas are coming at her full force. Kane has already said F you. Her brother, Chindu, he didn't like the whole Tejada family in the first place. So he's probably telling her we need to stand on business. We also found out that Noma isn't even the big dog her father is. And she's just a part of the organization. 
So with her being on the run, we can go ahead and exclude those contracts. Davis is no longer with her. So now the tables have turned. We also know that Bronze is up here with Kane and he got escorted out. But after the unaliving of Monet, Noma's going to have to be on the run. And the reason for that is Anya's been piecing things together. She's been questioning Kane about how he got his money. She's been talking to Tariq. Now, her and Tariq, we see them running off, and we already know that she was questioning Noma about being with Kane, someone half her age, and why they came back to the state. So, with Anya telling Noma to stay away from her, she's going to start giving up that information, and she might be a person that helps set up her own mother once she finds out through Tariq and Effie, hey, Anya, your mom, Noma, she's the one that got your father killed. So Tariq's plan that he initially was trying to do before Effie backdoored him and told Noma about the plan with Anya, he's probably going to get with Anya, expose everything to her, let her know your mom ain't who she says she is. She actually got your father on the live and we'll see Anya actually help Tariq and the Tejadas set up her mother. Now, I don't know what the relationship with Tariq and Anya is going to be moving forward, but maybe they get a, a love scene one more last time just for old time's sake. I think Davis is officially going to become clean. This is going to be his last dirty diligence in the street where he's working with Tariq. He goes to the bar, lets them know everything that's going on with his situation, and they reinstate it. And he goes back to practicing law. As far as the Tejada trio, I'm thinking Kane, which we've seen in the trailer, a potential shootout with the police protecting his family because Monet told him he stepped up when Lorenzo went to jail. So they're all going to be out trying to spin the block. But I think Kane, he might not make it. Diana can go on and finish school. And of course, Drew, he might take this opportunity to go to Paris and get away from all of this nonsense. But as of right now, we're seeing the Tejadas back together as an actual family. And they're going to be moving. And I made a mistake when I broke down the trailer. And I thought it may have been Anya. But it looks like it's their cousin Brian's when they're pulling up to step on business. When we see them overrun the compound, Kane's taking the lead. Drew, he's learned from Don Carter how he's coming in here strategically. Then we have Diana following, and it looks like Bronze is in the back. Now remember, Bronze came up here from Atlanta with his aunt, with his mom, Janet, who was Auntie Janet. And we know that Bronze also is moving work down there. So if Kane does survive, then I could see him and Bronze continuing this thing while his siblings go on with their lives, Diana in school, Drew to Paris, because this is the life that was made for Kane. But they're going to be moving around. And I don't think, think any of the Tejadas are going to be playing around, especially with the photo that we see of Diana. And that's Diana running around like a chicken with her head cut off. Now, she could be shooting at Noma to get even for her mom, or this could be shots at Anya. This could be shots at Anya and Tariq when they were running out of there. Now, she may not be trying to shoot Tariq, but then again, she could be trying to shoot Tariq because he didn't want to have another baby with her. You never know with Diana. But you see Kane like, hey, hey, chill, 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 chill. But Diana's not playing around. So whoever this is, I'm thinking it's more than likely Noma trying to get that shot off while Noma's getting away. But if it's her shooting at Anya and Tariq, man, I don't know what's the next step because this is the finale. So unless... They squash this beef and work together. Diana's just going to be out here wilding out. And last but not least, Tariq St. Patrick. Now, this is going to be interesting when we have our live show on Friday where we actually break down his whole storyline because we might even reminisce a little bit. But Tariq St. Patrick is finally going to have to put a plan together that's going to stick. There's no room for any mistakes. This is the finale. There's no redos. There's no round twos. Now, I do believe that Tariq is going to survive. Now, will he get rid of Don Carter? I'm not for sure because we do see him released unless they go to Nico or something and have him set up Don Carter. Now, as far as his relationship with the Tejadas, I did mention maybe Diana shooting at him and Anya, maybe not so much at him, but more at Anya because of their little, you know, saying their differences they had at the dinner table. But I think Tariq, along with the other siblings of the Tejadas, they'll come together and they'll squash all beef that they have and do this for Monet. But it kind of makes me believe that when he's yelling at Diana, like, what the hell did you do 
is him yelling, why were you shooting at Noma before we could actually get there? You see what I'm saying? So this could go all kinds of way. They have been throwing some curveballs this season, and I know this finale should be amazing. We're going to see how this thing turns out, but I see Tariq surviving. Will he get his inheritance? I definitely think he will. It might be at the end, a year later, or graduation. I do want to see how this all plays out and ends, but I believe Tariq is going to make it out and make sure that Tasha and Yaz are doing good. All right, there you go. My last thoughts for Power Book 2 goes to finale. It's been four years. Like I said, this is just me talking, getting on here rambling today because this is it. This is it. Tonight, it's over with. So let me know what you think. Who do you think is going to be on the live? Do you think Tariq is going to get his inheritance? Is Drew going off to go to art school? Is Diana going to finish school? Is Kane and Brian's going to open up shop? Let me know what you think. Tonight, tune in for are we ready i'm gonna have the lines open and you can come in you give your theories and predictions and you're gonna have a good old time i'm mode ij thanks for watching if you like this kind of content hit that like button definitely hit that subscribe button thanks for watching i'm out